Hello, I'm Greg Fleck from AL Patterson. Today we're going to talk about the differences between shear plates and shear bars. The shear plates come integral, welded to the bottom of the anchor. This has a lot of advantages in that the anchor has the shear plate on the bottom and cannot uh, move in the pouring process. It cannot be forgotten. It's always there. It gives you that insurance that you're going to get the proper load as we show in our load charts. The shear bar version requires a manufactured shear bar secondary from the anchor, which is two different parts. Uh, quite often, the precasters will install this in the recess member, attach it to the form, drop the bar down, and then you put a wire tie on top to ensure that the anchor does not move. One of the reasons why you would use a shear bar versus a shear plate is quite often there's interference with reinforcement, whether it be rebar or mesh. This allows you to install the anchor around the reinforcing, put the shear bar on afterwards, wire tied on top to ensure it does not move during the pouring of concrete, and give you the maximum loads possible with this anchor. One of the common questions we receive is, which one's cheaper? Uh, when it comes to a manufactured shear bar and anchor, it's actually generally a little bit more expensive than buying the shear plate welded to the anchor. The safety advantages of using a shear bar versus a shear plate are that the shear bar, if not tied properly and installed correctly, can float or move. Uh, it's very critical that when you put the anchor on top, you wire tie to keep it from moving. Uh, another safety aspect of this product is it's not uncommon for precasters to try and make their own shear bar. We do not recommend this. The shear bars are very difficult to bend. As you can see, this is a very narrow radius of the shear bar. This is not something the typical precaster can do in their plant to get this type of bend. Quite often what you will see is some type of bar that just kind of rounds the top. This can create a premature shear cone failure at the top of the anchor, not at the bottom where you really need the capacity in the anchor. We highly recommend buying a manufactured shear bar anytime you use an erection anchor in the edge of a wall panel. For more information about our AL Patterson Quick Lift Erection Anchors, please visit our website at www.patterson.com hyphen online.com.